cross-section of the brain and the brain stem at different levels, showing the motor pathways. Few structural landmarks you should know to understand the pathways. Cerebral cortex, where the motor fibers originate. The antenna capsule, deep within the brain. The anterior portion of the midbrain, or the crest cerebri. The anterior portion of the pons, or the basis pondus. The pyramids of the medulla. And the corticospinal tracts of the spinal cord. Let's now look at the cerebral cortex in more details. And you can see the cortical homunculus, which has a big representation of the face and the hands. The antenna capsule is deeply located within the brain. It has the areas of the face, arm, and leg compacted in a small segment. Localizing motor lesions within the brainstem could be determined by the presence of the cranial nerves, connection of the brainstem with the cerebellum, as well as the sensory pathways. Motor lesions within the spinal cord could be determined by the presence of the sensory symptoms, the sensory levels, as well as the autonomic disturbance. To simplify thinking of the motor fibers, you should think of it as fibers coming from the face, arm, and leg areas that should descend down all the way. Cortical facial nerve fibers will descend down to the pons to the facial nucleus, where then the peripheral facial nerve will exit the skull to supply the muscles of facial expression. The cortical arm fibers will descend down all the way to the lower medulla, where the majority will cross to the contralateral cervical segment of the spinal cord, innervating the upper extremities. Leg fibers will also descend down all the way to the lower medulla, where the majority will also cross to the contralateral corticospinal tract to supply the lower extremities.